हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर जितेन वशिष्ठ फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड बायोफॉर्मेटिक्स जे पी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरियस मेमरिन मॉडल्स इंक्लूडिंग फ्रूट मोजैक मॉडल दिस मॉड्यूल इज प्लेस्ड इन पेपर मेमरिन बायोविटिक्स इन व्यू ऑफ दिस फॉलोइंग मेमरिन मॉडल्स are discussed in this module firstly the introduction and importance of cell membrane secondly the historical perspective of all membrane models thirdly the contribution of overton and irving langmuir then gorter and grendel cell membrane models are discussed then lastly the sandwich model of cell membrane and robertson unit membrane model is discussed in this module and finally the fluid mosaic model of cell membrane is finally discussed these are following learning objectives the membrane is fundamental structural unit for cellular organization and various biological functions of cell are depend upon the membrane structural integrity therefore it is at most important to struct study the structure of membrane however the structure of membrane was elucidated by different researchers at different cell membrane models until a well accepted fluid mosaic model of cell membrane was proposed present module elucidated various cell membrane models and fluid mosaic model in detail prime focus of the module is mainly on the different models of plasma membrane which were described by various researchers time to time so now coming to the historical perspectives of membrane models cell membrane as the name suggests is the outermost covering of the cell separating the inner cellular protoplasm from its external environment the word cell membrane was coined by c negeli and c kramer in 1855 the essentiality of cell membrane may be provided by the fact that a 33% of dry weight of a cell is made up of its membrane and more than 40% of all proteins encoded by a eukaryotic genome are present at membrane as membrane proteins thus a large number of biological processes occur with the help of cell membrane among these major roles are controlling the chemical traffic into and out of the cell anchoring the cytoskeleton to provide shape to the cell and cell signaling the semi permeable nature of the membranes allows selective movement of the substances across the cell which is important for its survival the most important function of these biomembranes is to protect the cell from its external environment today we know that chemically cell membranes are made up of lipids which are around 20 to 40% proteins which are 60 to 75% and carbohydrates 1 to 5% but a whole lot of study have undergone to decipher the structure of the cell membranes various models have been proposed to elucidate the structure of membranes these models have been proposed based on the extensive research carried out by different scientists enabling them to elucidate the structure of the membranes the present day perception of cell membrane is entirely based on the understanding of these past membrane models overton concept of lipid structures of membrane Charles Ernest Overton played an important role in the understanding of the picture of the cell membrane. He studied the permeability of cell membrane to a wide variety of substances, nearly 500 different plant and animal cell models. He noticed that substances that are non-polar in nature, which are basically ether soluble, did not result in the shrinking of cells contrary 
टू वाटर सोल्यूबल और पोलर सब्सटेंसेस इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देयर मोलिकल साइजेस ही रीच टू द कंक्लूजन वॉट वी नो एज ओवरटर्न रूल अकॉर्डिंग टू विच द सब्सटेंसेस दैट आर सोल्यूबल इन ऑयल एंटर द लिविंग सेल फास्टर वेयर एज सब्सटेंसेस दैट आर हाईली सोल्यूबल इन वाटर एंटर द सेल स्लोली फर्दर ही प्रपोज लिपिड ऑयल थ्योरी इन एटीन नाइनटी नाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू विच ऑल लिविंग सेल्स आर कवर्ड बाय अ थिन लेयर ऑफ लिपॉइड मेटीरियल्स ही सजेस्टेड दैट कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड फॉस्फोलिपिड्स कुड बी द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन initial prediction to the lipid content as a major ingredient were justifiable however this model of cell membrane had several demerits for example there was no explanation for the movement of water and other hydrophilic substances across cell boundaries and no idea related to energy dependent selective transport system attempts to build artificial membranes provided insight into the structure of real membranes and this elucidation came into the picture when irving langwell in 1970 discovered that phospholipids dissolved in benzene would form a film on water after the benzene evaporation from the system he carefully measured surface area occupied by known quantities of oil using specially designed apparatus called as langwer turf this apparatus was originally designed by agnes pockels in which mono layers of lipids were spread at the water air interface the hydrophilic heads were immersed in water whereas the hydrophobic hydrocarbons are pointed out towards the air phase langwer was later received nobel prize in chemistry in 1932 for his work in surface chemistry this particular figure shows the structural elucidation of cell membrane through artificial membrane synthesis which was proposed by irving langwer model in this particular figure you will find that hydrophilic phospholipids are oriented towards water surfaces while the hydrophobic tails are excluded towards air in 1935 a model from gorter and grendel came out as a cell model gorter and grendel were the first to propose that the lipids of the cell membrane are organized in a bimolecular lipid sheet they experimentally calculated the surface area of lipids isolated from red blood cells from various animals like sheep rabbit goat and even humans in acetone the red blood cells were chosen since these cells were known to lack internal membranes they assumed that all lipid should come from cell envelopes using langwer turf the lipids were spread on a water surface and the area was measured they also measured the surface area of red blood cells from the microscopic images on comparing the surface area of the lipid to that of the red blood cells they found that surface area of the lipid was exactly twice to the red blood cell area they concluded that lipids of the cell membrane are organized in bimolecular lipid sheets gorter and grendel proposed the structure such that two lipid layers form a bilayer with the polar head which is a hydrophilic substance pointing towards the aqueous exterior environment and non polar or hydrophobic ends of the lipids embedded in the center this model was named as bimolecular lipid leaflet model this is the picture of the lipid membrane we know today as 
Gorter and Grendel cell membrane model which was proposed in 1925. In this model, Gorter and Grendel concluded that cell membrane are made up of two opposing thin monolayers and this double layer is constructed such that two lipid layers form a bilayer with the polar head groups pointing towards the aqueous environment. Although the attempt for describing the structure of membrane and lipid bilayer concept was correct. However, there were some limitations which were present in Gorter and Grendel cell membrane model. Firstly, the extraction technique used for lipid isolation could not extract erythrocyte lipid from the samples completely. Several miscalculations happened in measuring the total area of red blood cells and also this model unable to describe various crucial functions of the cell membrane. Now coming to the next model which is sandwich model of cell membrane which was proposed by Danelli and Davison. After the Gorter and Grendel work on bilayer structures of lipids, Harvey and Cawley in 1931 and Danelli and Harvey in 1935 did an extensive study to study the surface tension of the cell membrane. They observed that the cell membrane showed lower surface tension compared to the biomolecular lipid leaflet. Based on their observation, they pointed out the presence of protein molecules adsorbed on the surface of lipid droplets which reduces the surface tension of the droplets. The sandwich model or the Lemler model of cell membrane as proposed by Jim Danelli and H. Davison in 1935 relates the structure of the membrane to its chemical properties. So, in 1935, Jim Danley and Davison proposed that biological membranes are made up of lipid bilayers that are coated on both sides with the absolute layer of proteins. This we call the lipid bilayers sandwiched between two layers of proteins. The hydrophilic polar head of the lipid molecules are directed towards the protein side. The close association between the two is maintained by electrostatic forces. The hydrophobic non-polar tails of two lipid layers are embedded in the center where they are held together by hydrophobic bonds and one-to-one -one interactions. In early 1950s, Danelli and Davison made several modifications for sandwich model to explain the physiological functions of the cell membrane. They suggested that glycoproteins might be absorbed to the outer membrane surface, thereby accounting for the antigenic properties of the cell membranes. They also speculated the presence of certain bridges between the outer and inner protein layers through which certain materials are exchanged between a cell and its environment. The Danelli Davison model also had several demerits due to which it was later on got modified by other researchers. This model showed that all the membranes have a constant lipid to protein ratio with uniform thickness and therefore have symmetrical internal and external surfaces. The model could not explain the permeability of certain substances through the membrane. Unfortunately, this very sober view is nowadays not in the focus of much of the biochemical membranes research due to the emphasis of localized function of iron and solute specific transport channel proteins. Now coming to a newer model which was proposed after Danelli and Davison and this model was termed as Robertson unit membrane model. So far all the membrane structures predicted were based on 
indirect studies. It was for the first time that Robertson proposed in 1959 his famous unit membrane model which was based on the experimental evidences from electron microscopy. The membranes were fixed with osmium tetroxide and potassium permanganate which revealed a characteristic trilaminar structure of the cell membrane consisting of two parallel outer dark layers which are osmophilic and a central light layer which is osmophobic layer. The thickness of osmophilic layers measured was around 2 to 2.5 nanometer and that of osmophobic layers measured was 2.5 to 3.5 nanometers. The total thickness of trilaminar structure measured 6.5 to 8.5 nanometer. This value when compared with the thickness predicted on the basis of chemical studies was same. The trilaminar structure was presumed to be universal for all cell membranes including the endoplasmic reticulum. Hence, the name unit membrane model. Robertson proposed that the unit membrane structure consisted of a bimolecular lipid leaflet sandwiched between outer and inner layers of dense protein. This figure shows the diagrammatic representation of Robertson unit membrane model. Robertson in 1959 collected electron microscopic images of many cells and organelles. His picture of biological membrane resembles that of Daniel Davison model which was proposed in 1935. However, it is now based on microscopic evidences and in this figure you will find that the lipid bilayers are embedded in both of the sides by protein layers which are present in the outer protein layer as well as, as the inner protein layer. They form a three layered structure and are about 7.5 nanometer thick. In Robertson view, two protein layers are absorbed to the lipid bilayer. As he noticed himself, this picture is in agreement with of the previous model of Daniel and Davison. He also proposed that all biomembranes are either made up of unit membrane or a multiple of unit membrane. In unit membrane model, the protein layers are asymmetrical. That is, on the outer surface, mucoproteins are present while on the inner surface, it is non mucoid proteins. Robertson model was basically the confirmation of earlier two models which were Gorton and Grendel of 1925 model and Daniel Davison model which was proposed as a sandwich model in 1935. Robertson model was sometimes incorrectly interpreted as that all membranes have the same composition. Cell membrane, membranes of endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, and lysosomes are unit membranes, while nuclear membrane, membranes of mitochondria, and plastids are double unit membranes. However, Robertson's statement was merely meant to describe a common structure. In the 1960s, the structures of a number of soluble proteins were solved by X-ray crystallography. Leonard and Singer in 1966 found that many membrane proteins have a high alpha helical comfort content. Also, electron micrograph revealed that label proteins form isolated spots in some membrane. Furthermore, they considered the role of hydrophobic amino acid in alpha helices. From all these, S.J. Singer and G. Nicholson in 1972 presented a widely accepted model till this date, the fruit mosaic model, which is the 
accumulation of all the membrane models predicted earlier. According to the food mosaic model, membranes are two dimensional solutions of oriented lipids and globular proteins. The concept of lipid bilayer remains as such as predicted in earlier studies. However, the presence of proteins as continuous sheet on either surface of lipids was reformed. In this model, the proteins are present both on the surface of the lipid membranes as well as found embedded in the lipid bilayer or span throughout the membrane. This figure shows the fluid mosaic nature of cell membranes. If you see in the figure, you will find the lipid layers are formed as two segments of bilayer whereas the proteins are present either side of the membrane as well as into the membrane you will find that the outer surface also contains certain proteins as well as the downside which is coming to the towards cytoplasm it also has proteins whereas some proteins are present throughout the membrane which we say is they are spanning the membrane the proteins present on the surface are more hydrophilic in nature and are called as peripheral proteins. These proteins are non-covalently linked to the polar heads of phospholipid molecules which are present in lipid bilayer. Peripheral proteins are loosely attached to the membrane surface and therefore can be easily separated from the membrane by mild treatment by salts or sometimes by differences in the pH. The proteins found embedded in the matrix are generally termed as integral membrane proteins. They are hydrophobic in nature and they are having affinity for hydrophobic tails of phospholipids on interior of the bilayer. Integral membrane proteins form the major fraction of membrane proteins. Nearly approximately 70% of the total protein and these cannot be easily separated from the lipids as compared to the peripheral membrane proteins. Several integral membrane proteins form a tunnel-like passage which allows for the movement of water and water soluble hydrophilic substances. The lipid bilayer has two important role. One, it acts as a solvent for integral membrane proteins and secondly, it acts as a permeability barrier. Membrane lipids and proteins are free to diffuse laterally provided flexibility and dynamism to the membrane. The fluid mosaic model of cell membrane is still the widely accepted model, in particular due to the advancement in the visualization and confirmation of membrane proteins. It is nowadays known that membrane proteins display alpha helical and beta barrel conformation in the membrane spanning domains. So at last, um, students, now summarize what we have learned in this module. I'll start from a historical and lastly up go up to the fluid mosaic model. Firstly, it was 1895 when Overton postulated lipid oil theory according to which all cell membranes are impregnated by lipid-like material. Compounds soluble in organic solvent entered the cell more rapidly than water-soluble compounds. Then, in 1917, Irving Langwell developed an apparatus called Ligmet Truff. With this apparatus, area occupied by the monolayer films could be measured. And then, in 1925, Gorter and Grendel proposed 
a cell membrane in which the structure of membrane is bilayer two molecules thick lipids of the cell membrane are organized in bimolecular lipid sheet with the hydrophilic heads pointing towards the aqueous environment and the hydrophobic end of the lipid embedded in the center later on in 1935 denelli and davison proposed the famous sandwich model according to which bilayer lipid is sandwiched between two layers of protein later on in 1950s what robertson has proposed a unit membrane model which was based on electron microscopy and revealed the typical trilaminar appearance of membrane consisting of two parallel outer dark osmophilic layers and a central light osmophobic layer and lastly a model came which was known as fluid mosaic model given by s j singer and g nicholson which they presented the widely accepted model and we call it the fruit mosaic model the membrane is a fruit structure in which a mosaic of different proteins are embedded and they are present outside to the membrane inside to the membrane and both of the side and they are present as a mosaic kind of things thank you very much